Hello, Gamer Nom is back. And in this video, we're going to unlock all swords in Haze Peace. But before starting, show your support by using Star Code Gamer Nom when purchasing your Robux. Just a disclaimer, guys, every time you use my Star Code, I get paid. Okay, guys, so are you a sword user in Haze Peace or other Roblox One Piece games? If yes, this is a video for you. Okay? So first up, we're going to unlock the first sword. Obviously, you can buy it in the sword shop named Katana. Okay, so you will be spending 1,200 bellies in order to get this one. There you go. So let's showcase it. Okay, so first up, it has two skills. First one is the Air Slash and the Lion Song. So I'm going to try and use this one to attack a mob here. You know, the Thief. So first up, that's the Air Slash and the Z skill, the Lion Song. Anyway, it's really impressive how they made this game. So as you can see guys, the details are really good. Check that out, Lion Song and the Air Slash, okay? So moving on, the next sword that I'm gonna show you is located near the starting island. Yes, the Shark Park. You just need to defeat this boss, the Shark Boss. For those who don't know, you have a 10% chance to obtain the Shark Blade every time you defeat the boss. So here's the character that just got the sword, there you go, by Buso First Pro. Okay, so next up, located in the marine base town, there's an NPC here near the tree, Sabo or Soba. Okay, you can buy the Blazing Pipe for 250,000 bellies. It has two skills, the Fire Shot and the Flame Thrower. So I'm gonna show it to you. There you go, that's the Flame Shot, Flame Thrower, there you go. It's, it looks good, to be honest. Looks like the C skill of the Rubber Fruit in terms of damage, right? Okay, so oh, we got a Lava Ore. Okay guys, so this is connected to our next item. So guys, Lava Ore, right? We got the Lava Ore. So you need to open this door here. I mean, yeah, this door. You need the key, right? So where is it located? Just near the spawn uh, point and PC. There you go, the table, Lava Key. So you need this one to open that door, okay? Once you open that, you can now put the Lava Ore here. There you go. And you will summon someone. So a maze building boss has been summoned at the marine base okay so this one you're gonna defeat this one and you might get the maze okay so this maze i think is the one used by i don't know it can be kaido or i forgot uh the girl in one piece i forgot the name <laughs> anyways there you go guys here is the maze it has two skills the bagua and the earth crash so let's try it there you go. Boom. So that's the Earth Crash and Bagua. Okay? Okay, so next up, guys. Located in the Skull Island. Whoa. There is a boss here. The boss is Shiryu. Okay, so this one is the Vice Captain of... I don't know. It's Dark... Dark... Oh, Blackbeard. Sorry. Again, I'm talking about One Piece. So you just need to defeat him. And you will get an item. That item is the, it's a scroll. Okay, it's a scroll. So guys, just talk to the scroll merchant, just the right side of the skull island, and there you go. You will obtain the Ryu. Okay, Ryu. This is the Ryu. It has two skills. The Crimson Dash in the Bloody Barrage. So let's try it. On Shiryu. <laughs> so that's the Bloody... Oh. So guys, Bloody Barrage is a short to mid-range attack, and this one is the long-range Crimson Dash. So we're gonna try it again one more time. There you go. Crimson Dash and Bloody Barrage. Just a reminder, we are not following an order here for the swords, I'm gonna show, but I'm gonna show you everything. Next stop is located in the Logue Town or Logi Town. At the back of the island, you will find this one. Oh no, 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 not what? The other one, the White Doctor, is located here. Let's look for it. There you go. Guys, we already unlocked the version 1 of it, so I just show you how to get the version 1. For V2, you need to defeat the Dual Swordsman. Okay, the dual swordsman, there you go. It also appears in the Logue Town. So guys, here it is. There you go. Once you defeat him, you will obtain a mysterious book. So you need to give it to a collector. So who's the collector, guys? Obviously, it's the White Doctor. So go back to him. Talk to him. Gamer Nom, is that the requirement? Yes, aside from that, you need to pay him 20,000 bellies. Dollars, okay? And that's it. Let's showcase it. We have two skills, the Cross Slash and the Twister. I think this is the one used by uh, Odin, right? Odin Sama. Cross slash, there you go. And the twister. Okay, so guys, let's try it on Tashi. There you go. And twister. 
Okay, so next up guys, we're going to talk about Bicento. So first guys, Bicento, you need to defeat Ice Admiral first. Okay, so you need to get the key. Once you get the key, you just need to insert it here. Okay, and then you will summon this one. Okay, so obviously you need to defeat her. And then first up, you need to get the White Orb. Okay, there you go, Tremor Lady. White Orb, and after that, head to the one uh, to one of the towers. This one. And uh, you will find the Bicento Merchant. So let's check it out. There you go. Okay, so I think we already have Bicento. When recorded this one. And then, guys, you need to do it again. Get the key, defeat the Tremor Lady or Tremor Girl. <laughs> we got the name there. Go, and you will get Bicento V2. So let's showcase it. It has two skills, Shattering Orb and Shattering Impact. Let's go, this is Shattering Orb, and this is Shattering Impact. There you go. Okay, so what's next, Gamer Nom? Next one can be unlocked in the Sky Islands. And I think everyone expected this one. So again, Skylands, Thunder God, right? <laughs> and he has the pole. Okay, so let's just defeat this one. And are we gonna get it? Oh, we didn't. But again, fast forward it. There you go. So guys, it has two skills, the Thunder Blast and the Thunder Strikes. So let's try it. There goes Z skill and X skill. There you go. Looks similar to Block Foots, right? Or even in King Legacy. For our next sword, you need a level 2500 Shogun, yes. In order to get the Enma. So obviously, our enemy here is the Enma boss. So there you go. Is he hard to defeat? Hmm. Obviously, if you're uh, low level, it's really hard to defeat. But since I'm max level 2850 yeah no problem defeating him anyways just by defeating him you will be getting one of his swords so again this is odin right so he has two swords but in this case he's only using one and obviously that is enma okay so we're about to defeat him oh, uh, as you can see we're using one of the swords that will be showcased later anyway so that's it obtained enma so let's try the skills. Okay, first we got the Inferno Impact and X skill is the Twisting Blades. Okay, so that's a D skill. There you go, and the Twisting Blades. Guys, do you want me to show you the damage? Just comment it on the comment section. Damage for all swords. Okay, so next stop is located in the Cold Island. Actually, no, not Cold Island here. In the hot island, there is an NPC hiding here in the lava area. There it is. So guys, for those who don't know, this is, I think, the sword of Trafalgar Law. Yes. A sword in the Operation Blade. So 250,000 bellies plus level 1,000. Is that the skill? No, that is the Conqueror's Hockey. Just showing it. <laughs> so we have two skills, the Injection Shot and the Electric Discharge. So this is the Injection Shot. Later, I'm going to show you uh, the aim of it. Again, injection shot. Create distance and... Wait, that's it. See that? Okay. Next up is the electric discharge. Next sword is located at the Impel Jail. So guys, I'm going to show you the NPC. Here you go. Just go straight and left. You will find an NPC here that sells the soul cane. The one used by Brook. Go undead prisoner. So guys, again, how much will it cost, gamer nom? There you go, one hundred thousand bellies plus one thousand level. Okay, so that's it. Very easy. Okay, soul cane. So for the skills, we have two skills: soul thrust and soul parade. Let's try it. Soul thrust and the soul parade. Let's try it. Oh, what? I think there is a bug. Check it out. The soul cane is missing. <laughs> but we can use skills. I don't know. See that guys? There you go. Anyways, that's it. Moving on to our next sword. This one located at the Thriller Boat. Guys, uh, this is the boss of this island, Ryuma. You guys, you just need to defeat him until he drops the sword. Okay, so now we're using the sword. So we have two skills, the Star Impact and the Thrust Barrage. Let's try it. That is the Thrust Barrage and this is the thr uh, Star Impact. So guys, the sword is named Shisui. Yes, there you go. So we're just gonna defeat this and move on to our next sword. Okay, there you go. Good luck on getting that sword. Next one is an interesting sword because again, Starter Island, you need to buy the cola first. 
this is the use of this one okay so 1000 bellies for the cola so what's next gamer gnome we are going to head guys i'm not sure if this is in the map but this one guys this rocky area here okay just fly towards the area and this is the area where you will get the skywalk right so the skywalk is located here in this uh pillar here with some trees but the one that we're looking at is in the middle we're looking for is in the middle the merchant here there you go see the guys the mythical wizard so you need to give him the cola since he's kind of thirsty i think there you go see this then give it to him blah blah, blah. okay so he's gonna spawn a sea beast there you go and you need to feed it so is there uh, any problems in defeating this one i think this one's really easy to defeat again take note of the color of the sea beast it is color red right <laughs> why gamer no it has something to do with the v2 later okay guys so let's fast forward it there you go okay so once you defeat it automatically you will get the sea beast hammer okay so let's showcase the skills first we get the Water Blast and the Sea Destroyer. So, Water Blast. There it is. There you go. Looks cool. And the Sea Destroyer. Gamer Gnome, how about the V2? How do you get it? So, guys, it is located in the second sea, okay? Also, the island where I always fight the Sea Beast. Guys, you need to defeat the White Sea Beast now. So, where can you find it? Guys, uh, I was able to grind this Sea Beast properly at the Snow graveyard island so where you can fight zoro so there you go guys so um, i think it's easy to defeat too <laughs> the sea beast looks really good also i kind of like it that you can fight him from the land because some sea beasts spawn in the middle of the ocean and if you don't have the uh, neptune hat yeah it's really hard to fight him there you go so again this is time to speed after this, we will get the V2 version of the CB Sam. I don't know if this is the newest one. <laughs> I'm not sure. Okay, last 20% HP, 14, 11. And let's defeat this one. There you go. Okay, see the guys obtain Sea Beast Hammer V2. So guys, let's check the skills. That is not the Sea Beast Hammer. There you go. We have three skills now. First up is the Water Blast. Again, <laughs> let's try it. As you can see, it looks really better now compared to the previous one. There are some changes. Bigger water blast. So next up is the havoc shockwave, and last one is the shark attack. There you go. Okay, so let's try the skills on one of, one of the mob here. Again, guys, I told you in the island where you will fight Zoro or Three Sword style. There you go, dude. Guys, you can also get one of the swords here. So guys, by beating Zoro. You can get the three swords style and by staying in this area you, will, you are targeting two swords at the same time i don't know uh, in the game uh the cb hammer is considered a sword the so gamer gnome is it easy to get hmm. it really is based on luck too so if you're really lucky you can get this sword easily especially if you're in the public server and you are in a party with other players if you're really lucky then yeah you will get it easily so guys let's fast forward this one after getting the sword we can now showcase it guys for me this is one of the best if not the best representation of sword skills especially the three sword style so first up the pound phoenix let's try it guys okay here you go z skill okay let's check that out okay especially the purgatory onigiri boom guys I saw that in the anime and last one is the 3000 worlds so again guys what can you say gamer gnome you are missing two swords one is the dark blade and the other one uh, is the sight right guys i cannot get those sorry because again uh, i just started playing this game so again sorry for not including those two swords because again the one can be uh obtained via an event and this the other one dark blade can only be obtained by robux i guess and i don't have money to buy robux but for food i have <laughs> okay so i hope that you enjoyed this one next up i will be posting a video of one to max using gif gear for luffy okay so again see you in my next video again to all the viewers subscribers supporters I really appreciate you all this is gamer gnome and see you in my next video gear for luffy Bye bye